Certainly in a rural in a rural environment and where I live, certainly our farming community are definitely under pressure. Um, I would definitely like to see more help for the horticultural side of things, particularly the organic farming side of things. Um, I just feel that the payments on that sector are extremely low. Um, uh, so that would be one, certainly one area that I would be looking at. And, and from a town perspective, definitely our housing situation, while they're doing their best to uh, accommodate everybody, um, there's still a severe, I feel there's a severe shortage. Um, while I acknowledge there is good work being done as well at the same time. I'd love to see 16 year olds be granted a vote as well. You know, it is, um, it happens in other countries, I think that by the time someone turns 18 or 18 and a half and they get a vote, by the time they see any real change, what they're voting for, you know, they're in their 20s, I think a 16 year old. We do trust them to drive cars or motorways and tractors and stuff like that. Look, I think they should get a vote really. Kinda. Transport as well is a big thing. Yeah, yeah transport. Like, I know we did get in a local link, but it's still, it's only going to like Dundalk and places, but like, yeah. And even like, if you want to go to Belfast, there is a train station, but it's still the problem of getting there and it takes a long time. I feel like there's nothing like for young people in the area that like is keeping them yeah. here. From European politicians so that, I suppose I'd like some help at local level for local people because Europe seems very far away. Um, in terms of agriculture, I think like farmers probably do need direction on um, making farming more sustainable and probably uh, working for the benefit of the planet whatever form that takes okay because uh, different people have different ideas obviously methane is a big issue but no cows no meat there needs to be quite a bit of dialogue and obviously there has to be something for for it in the farmers as well like they do work very hard i'm from like a town community of that but i do appreciate like to say how hard farmers work it is 24 hours a day it is seven days a week it is 365 days of the year so kind of like we say i think politicians need to listen not only to what farmers are saying but to what everybody is saying and uh, i think they need to take that forward to europe but at the end of the day it's the people of ireland who are sending them there so they need to listen to the people of ireland and represent their views as well i suppose a bit more appreciation i suppose for for food and agriculture and farming in general i suppose definitely wouldn't go astray um a lot of burden i suppose on um paperwork and i suppose the environment is always going to be an issue i suppose but i suppose they're probably the main things and i suppose nationally i suppose roads you know, it's always going to be an issue and um, the upkeep, I suppose, of local amenities and stuff like that, they'd probably be the, the main focus, I would say. When you're still in college and trying to get a job around here can be hard enough, especially for the CV, you know, you might have much qualifications or previous jobs. There are not big families in Ireland at the moment. There's, you know, two, three uh, children families. But those children, one of them maybe can build at home and the other two can't. You know, even though they have a farm of land, one of them will get planning permission and, and the other won't, you know, and, and why that is, I don't know. But like Ireland, look over history. We, we have a history of emigrating. Like, I mean, you probably understand that there was lots of different reasons. We were, uh, we were taken over by, by certain people at different times. We had emigrated. There was the great famine and all that. And, and like we're grateful for people taking us in, you know. Um, so we we also should be have open arms. We were taken in, so we will take in people, but not illegal uh, bounty hunters. You know, they're causing a huge problem and our government don't seem to have um, a handle on how to deal with it. They should be aware about this um, housing crisis in Ireland because I've seen like so many like people that they need like, you know, um, a home. Like there's so many homeless. I hope I don't mind just me saying that, but I've seen like so many, um, I'm not against of, um, immigrants coming over because I am immigrants myself, but I think they need to actually need to build new houses for many people, especially for old people. And I hope that when they build the new houses, it's actually more comfortable. And, um, you know, the heating here and the gas is actually quite expensive. So I hope that they would actually look into it as well to make it like a little bit like, um, um, you know, um, affordable for all the people. As of now, I know that so many like people are coming into the small town as well. And like what I said, the housing is very, very important because there's no, well, there's nowhere else to, um, to live, especially in a big city.